Hello and welcome to Fresh and Fruity. This is a program where we enlighten you more about fruit production, how to become a successful fruit farmer, and also how you can make money from your fruit business. Now, on today's episode, we are looking at the strawberries. Some of you have sent their feedback and comments concerning strawberries. How do I grow my strawberries? What are the best varieties? How do I go about in pruning and getting the correct run as well? On this episode, we got you covered and we have visited a farmer in Udhiru Corporation. Now he's a trainer and an organic strawberry farmer who will take us through the process of growing your plants and strawberry fruits especially organically. So don't touch that dial, I'll be your host throughout the show Margaret Werimo. Keep it fresh and fruity. My name is William Jaroge Kibe aka Wa Strawberry. I'm an organic strawberry farmer and an organic strawberry trainer and today I'm going to teach you how to grow strawberries organically. Let's do this. Before planting your strawberry fruits on your bed, they must go through a nursery to allow root formation. Strawberries are not sowed via seeds, but through runners. At Kibe's farm, he uses plastic cups to grow the strawberry runners, which are the seedlings of the crop. The reason you're starting um, putting the runner in the plastic cup, okay? Because use the plastic cup because what you want, you want the runner to make sure you're able to see the roots at the end of the day, okay? So what we do, we take the runner itself, okay? Plant it in the plastic cup, okay? Then you're going to let it root for two weeks. So the runner is going to feed from the mother to the child through the umbilical cord. That runner part is what we call the umbilical cord, which I'll show you practically what it is, okay? Now, your runner is going to be in the cup for two weeks. So, so. so after two weeks, you detach the runner from the mother plant. Now you can actually transplant it or resell it at the end of the day. To do, I'm going to show you how to do it practically, okay? Because through this process, you have to make sure that your soil in the cup has enough manure, okay? And the best manure to use is the cow, sheep or goat manure. For this process of the runner, you don't need to use chicken manure. Because chicken manure is very acidic. And the reason chicken, chicken manure is very acidic is because chicken do not urinate. Okay? That hence making it very acidic. Now if you plant the young runner inside the cup with chicken manure, it's going to burn off and it's going to die. Interesting. Kibe explains further how you can prepare the soil to grow your runners in the plastic cup. So basically here, I'll just get my my manure. This is actually cow manure. You should actually never be worried of using uh, touching manure because as they say wealth comes from soil. So I'll just take my gel my, and just mix it gradually too. Now whenever you're doing um, whenever you're doing this when you know when you have to do strawberry farming and you want to put the runners in the plastic cups Make sure you have a heap of soil mixed with manure, okay? Because this process right here takes, can actually take like an entire day. Because this soil is actually labor intensive. However, do it once and you're good. Okay? Do it once and you're good. So, I'll use my clear plastic cups. And again, I said uh, the plastic cup, so I'm able to see the roots. Okay, for this particular uh, um, soil, putting it in the cup, there's literally no specific quantity. But again, I told you, you must have, it's either cow, sheep, or goat manure. But do not use chicken manure tafazali. Sawa sawa. Because you'll see how young the runner is, and you put a runner inside the cup, it's a chomeka. Make chomeka, that is it. Now you have to start all over again, sasa. Okay? I told you my principle is, you buy runners once, you don't sell to you again. Yes, it's been strict, but I have to do it. Because if I don't do it, I'm taking advantage of you guys indirectly. Okay? Now, every single cup, okay, must have a hole right at the bottom. Okay? Must have a hole right at the bottom. So the reason for that is for water drainage. Okay? So, because too much water, where the, where the runner is, you're going to get root rot. So I just take my soil, fill it. And if there are any hard lumps, make sure you, um, well, the cup is not full. And again, here's the thing. Whenever you're doing strawberry farming and you're putting your soil inside the cup, 
okay? Even when you're doing them on the beds, you're not allowed to step inside the bed, okay? Because if you step inside the bed, what's going to happen? You're going to find that you're going to make the bed to be very hard. Then water percolation, water percolation is going to become very difficult at the end of the day. So even inside this cup, do not do this. You're not baking a cake, eh? <laughs> do not do this, Tafadali, okay? Because see, if I do this, I'm making the soil to be hard at the end of the day. When I'm filling my soil, okay, this is how you're going to do it. You get your soil. Yes, it's a lot like this, okay? But now there's no magic trick happening here, okay? As you can see, what I, have, what I need to do is take my hand, hold the cup like this, okay? Get a stick, then hit. As you've seen, there's no soil that has poured anywhere, isn't it? And I told you there's no magic trick happening here for this reason. See what my soil has actually gone down. So it has actually basically occupied my space at the end of the day. The same thing when bakers are baking before they put it in the oven, they have to heat it down, kidogo, so that the air bubbles it okay. Then at the end of the day, put it inside there because the air bubbles, you're going to find the cake is going to crack. So the same thing with our strawberry plants here. Planting them in the runner. Again, just add some soil, then make sure it's level nicely. Okay? Now this cup is now ready to go to our bed and plant the runners. Uh, don't, don't add any water right now to the soil, but make sure your soil is always moist. I would recommend that you get a bucket full of water, okay? Then hold the cup like this. You see the good thing about human beings and God creation, because you can actually space our fingers like this. So just get the whole bucket of water, immerse it in water. So what is going to enter through here and also right at the bottom because of this. So you want your soil to be moist, okay? Luckily, uh, right, luckily it rained, so my soil is moist, okay? But here we have just a very good mixture of soil, manure, cow sheep or goat manure. Oh. Once we plant the runner in the cup, okay? As I say, it's going to be in the cup for two weeks. After two weeks, again I said you can either transplant it or sell it. It is now time to grow the runners in the cup. And when you're planting the runner in the plastic cup, as I said, it's going to be here in the cup for two weeks. Okay, so after two weeks, okay, and you're going to see, after two weeks, you're going to see all the roots right at the bottom of the cup, okay, and that's when you know when it's ready for planting. As you're going to put the runner inside the plastic cup, eh, you need not to identify the runner itself, okay. Now the runner itself, as I said, it produces, you're going to, get, you're going to start getting your runners at the beginning of the second month. When the runners produce, and that's why we like doing a service from runners, because one plant, on the lower side is going to give you three new runners, one plant. And on the higher side, you're going to get, you're going to get like around five to 10 new runners. Now, when you want to increase your farm, okay, we recommend that you use your runners, okay? And you find it's going to be easier for you to do that and cheaper for you to do that at the end of the day. Because one thing we're very particular about is reducing the cost of production. And the best way to increase your farm is through the runners. For example, this strawberry plant, right, has produced um, runners. Now, this same mother plant has the first runner, which is this, this node right here. That is one. The same same runners produce another one, which is this. This is two. Same same runners produce another one, which is three. Okay. Same mother plant produce four, five. So you find that one mother plant, right now she has given us five new seedlings, okay? Now, basic math, for example, you want to have a total of 500 plants. I'm going to recommend start with 100 plants. Why? Because the mother plant, like this one, she's going to give us five new seedlings. So if you do 100 times five, you get 500 new seedlings. At what cost? At zero cost, okay? which makes your work much easier, okay? Now, yes, the mother plant has produced runners. However, you don't, not all the runners are ready for planting. For example, you see this runner right here? She does not have roots, okay? So you always need to look for roots 
from the mother plant, from the runner itself, sorry, that look like this. So this runners, it's almost like an inch long, okay? So this runners what we're going to plant, okay, in our plastic cup, okay? So, make drill a hole right at the bottom. Now, the thing is, you're not just making a hole. If you realize, I'm actually drilling as I go down, okay? You need to get all the way to the bottom. For you to remove the stick, do not just yank it out like that. Okay? Back of an ampango. So take the stick and twist as you come back up again. Okay? If I just yank it out like that, then ni pale kwa inkwa tengeneza mchanga wangu na mbolea, then ni jaze tena. Kwa una imagine kufanya hivyo for 300 plants utashinda hapo shambani. Okay? Kwa hivyo use a stick, drill alafu itwe vizuri. This runner here it is. Now, as you can see Here's something very interesting about strawberries, right? You see this runner? Yes, we have agreed she's producing. This is another child of hers. But here's the funny thing, here's the shocking thing about it. Who is this? Another runner. So basically this mother has six children. All runners, or even all plants, are going to have these small tiny leaves. For me, I call them the baby leaves, okay? So always make sure the baby leaf is right just before, just above the soil, okay? So I take the runner, take my cup, and plant it like that, just insert it, just kidogo hivyo too. Then, sikimu baki na shimu wapa, rudisha, mchanga hivyo, vizuri. Sawasa. Now, you see this string-like structure like this? This goes all the way to the mother plant. For lack of a better word, this is the umbilical cord. So this child is feeding from the mother through the umbilical cord, okay? And it's going to be in the cup for two weeks, okay? After two weeks, you're going to see roots right at the bottom of the cup. I want to move on to the roots in the Kwachinyapa Kokikombe. That's when I that one is ready now for transplanting, okay? Transplanting or selling it. But in the summer, if you can get the shambalako, to me runners. Easiest way of doing it, zero cost. Okay. But once the second month happen, you can get the runners. Okay? Now from that, you can get the plan in the wako, you can get the shamba. Okay? So, to make you a runner. Now, always make sure this runner is always put right next close to the mother plant. I mean, like a young baby, he she is always close to the mother. But you only have to take care of so that even this moving of food through the umbilical cord, through this green structure, will be easy for the plant itself. Okay? So they'll just put it next to the mother plant like that. Find a place that you can actually support it. Na ikweme si mama vizuri. Okay? Now, yes, to me panda rana. Yes, you will combo for two weeks. One thing you need to be very um, particular about is now the watering part of it. When you're watering the runner, remember, you're going to have a bed full of runners, okay? Now you just don't come water, the bed, water each runner individually. The easiest way of doing it, get a watering can, okay? Just a maji. From one end of the bed to the other end, okay? You call the watering can and just walk as you water every single plant. Now you'll do that watering for two weeks. And that watering, you'll do it once a week for two weeks. But I'll tell you when you're doing it once a week. For example, let's say it's raining, okay? Like, um, luckily it's been raining since January, okay? So if I find this, I'm watering my plants, let's say it's been raining, okay? And I find it's like a hot day like today. I came to realize during the hot season, okay? I'll just water once because now it's raining during the week. Let's say one day of the week it's hot. I'll just water it once, okay? But let's say to mepanda wakatu wakiangazi, very hot. So that water is going to change now for the runner plant itself. So you're going to do it every single day for those two weeks. If it's raining like throughout from, for the next week, let's say it rains Monday to Monday, you don't need to water that runner because you've gotten 
free watering. Those are three watering shade that you need to really kuzingatia. Yes, to panda. Okay? Yes, kuna progress ambayo imefanyika. So what I'm going to show you guys next is now from tumepanda, I'll show you how it happens, how it looks like one week old. Then the runner, the runner plant itself. Then from the one week old, then I show you when a run is completely ready at mm. the end of the day. Mm. Okay? That's what you're going to do next. Wonderful lessons indeed from Kibe aka Wa Strawberry on organic strawberry production. Now we hope that you're ready and writing these tips because they will help you make it in the strawberry business. We are taking a short break but don't go away because there's a lot more in store for you here on Fresh and Fruity.